Hi guys, it's me Karen. Been a while. I had a couple of projects I had to do for the last couple of weeks and it didn't have anything to do with coloring. <laughs> so uh, it was my great nephew's uh, first birthday. So um, I made all the decorations for his party along with uh, my daughter making all the cakes and stuff and that took a couple of weeks to finish. So I am back to coloring. Missed it a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this picture and it's from this book, Pop Manga uh, Mermaids and Other Sea Critters by, and you can see it, a Camilla and uh, the last name is right there, <laughs> Dierico, I would assume. And I kind of like this page, so I've never colored one of these pictures before. It's a really nice book. The pages are really soft, smooth. So I'm going to do it in my Prisma colors. I'm probably going to do him kind of in a rainbow color and then uh, just her regular and then do some distress inking in the back in blue because we're kind of underwater. So I will I'll get you down a little closer to the picture and get out my pencils and show you which ones I'm going to use. Okay, so here are the pencils I'm going to use. So we have Light Peach PC927. We have just Plain Peach, which is 939. We have Seashell Pink 1093. We have Slate Blue <laughs> 1024. Neon pink in the scholar colors is 438, and then I have the lilac, which is 956. I know that these three colors aren't usually used in skin, but I'm going to uh, gonna add them as a shadow. Lip color in that. So we will start off with the um, light peach and kind of do an overtone on here. I'll get you down just a bit further there. We'll see how this lays down on the paper. It kind of has a, a gray scaling sketchy look to it. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's picking up the ink here or if that's just the sketch lines. Pretty sure that's where her she cheeks go. And I know that um, the manga coloring style is a little different. So their eyes are different and their cheeks are done with little hash marks and stuff. So said first time trying it and we'll find out how this turns out you all get to find out too <laughs> I was gonna double check the volume on this sorry okay so just coloring it in pencils are smooth on this paper it's really nice Now her lips are in here, I'm going to kind of give those a highlight so I don't go in there too much because they're a little different, so. Don't want to go up in her eyes either. I haven't gone online yet to see anybody else's pictures that they do on this, so this will probably turn out a little different from everybody else's. <laughs> I'm gonna go down like that. 
Okay. Now we're going to put in the um, regular peach and give her some highlights. Darken it up here. I know in some mangas, they leave block lines for shadowing. I don't know how to do that really well, so I'm just going to be blending everything in. Pressing a little harder here to get this color down. Okay, then we're going to give her a little bit of purple up in here also. So I hope you all been having a great couple of weeks that I've been gone. <laughs> I did get to uh, watch a few of the um, color blocks that they were doing, uh, the colorathon. I got to peek in and a few of them. They were really fun. Just love seeing everybody's coloring. Popped in and said hi to a few of them. Didn't have much time, so I couldn't watch everybody. Kind of a little pink here in the cheeks here, and we're going to give her some pink on her lips. And just a, a hint of lip here. They don't give you much. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the pink in here. Then I'm going with a little of the blue on this side. Kind of more of a shadow along the little sea critter down here.
going to um, try out an eye. This I might want to <laughs> go on the internet and see what manga eyes look like because I know they're a little different. So I'm going to type that in. Manga eyes. I guess I should have put in whether I wanted male or female or in color. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. We're going to do them in blue and green. So let's find some. green tones in here. So, kind of a, and a yellow tone too. Do this one, this one's kind of pretty. So we're going to go to true green, which is 910. We're going to do neon green scholar pencil 439. We'll go ahead and use the same blue, which is the blue slate 10. Two, four, and I will also use uh, indigo and yellow, uh, canary yellow, which is nine one six, and somewhere around here is the blue pen I'm looking for. It's also very small. Sometimes it's hard to find. Oh heck, maybe I'll just use this one. It's a purple, Deoxa. Uh, D. Ocazine Purple Hue. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. It's 132. So that'll be pretty. And we'll use that as the dark color. Okay, so let's see. I'll have to use black too because her pupils are going to be black. Find the black one. Black is just uh, 935. Uh, We'll put that one in last, so we'll start with the eyeball, and it's going to be down in here, and the, well, that's a really pretty purple. I just got this pencil, ordered it on eBay, wasn't part of my original set, so that and I've been looking at those deco colors. Deco pinks. I think that kind of goes up like that. Okay, then we will put in a little blue. I'll be putting the highlights in with a Posca pen. You can find Posca pens on Amazon or eBay. I don't know if they sell them in the store. I've never found them in the store, so <laughs> we're going to put a little yellow down here on the bottom, and then we will blend it in with the, uh, we'll go in with the neon green here, little, little color there, doesn't show up as much, so we'll go in with the true green. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just bring the purple down in there. Okay, then we'll go in with the black. Leave that highlight.
I'm just kind of tracing over the existing lines here to darken them up a little. And put a little shadow back here, a little shadow up here, and then I'm going to blend that in with um, the light peach color. Like I said, I've never done these eyes before, so hopefully they look okay. All right, it's close. <laughs> they, they look all right. Uh, highlights go in them, so we'll put those in. intended on uh, highlights but let's see if the pen works. I'm gonna put the one here. Color those in a little better. And then I can put hmm, I think it's like a, a little line and dot here. Thing like that. That's according to the picture I'm looking at, so gives it a little highlight. I'll probably work on those to make them look a little better for me. <laughs> okay, her hair is going to be, I'm going to try it with a kind of a purple, red, pink look. So I have the same um, purple I used in the eye, the dioxide, no purple, I don't know how you pronounce <laughs> the color that it is. Um, let's see, where did it go? It's the purple hue. And it's the 132. I have a pomegranate 195 and the neon pink, which is the 438. And we'll even do a little of the lavender or the lilac, which is the 956. So we'll start up at the top in the darkest spots with the uh, purple. Let's see And just little strokes for hair. Figure out if that's part of the uh, critter. If it's not, I'm going to make it part. <laughs> her hair would look funny going up that way. That is part of the critter, so her hair. 
here and it goes to here. Pause or not. I wonder if I can use him as the Poggist thing that Shailene's doing. <laughs> Can't tell if he's a dragon or a sea monster, so I know she's allowing dragons. I'm going to bring some more of this uh, hair down a little bit here. Maybe add a few more wisps. Okay, then we're going to go in with the pomegranate, kind of like right on top of it, a little lighter, and bring down some of that color. Some little hair in there too, <laughs> find it all. And then we're going to go in with the lilac. Just going over the same spots, just making it a little longer. And then we're going to go in with the uh, pink. Maybe even longer strikes here. Hair. I'm going to go in there with um, some white and any areas that I got too dark I'll lighten up. And then also with the Posca pen I will add some different color in that. Now we'll go on to, let's see, we'll start at the little guy's tail here. And I said I'm going to make him rainbow, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Distress Inks to kind of help it out a little bit. So um, the little ones in this Picked Raspberry, Peacock Feathers, a yellow, and... Do, do, do I have one more in here? 
orange. Let's see, we'll do a man. Well, one of these orders. Do blue. These two at the top this way. Okay. So we'll kind of do a um, blue. Oh, let's see, I want the blue kind of up here. I'll figure it out. So I'm going to start off with the blue one and I'll put it wherever I feel like it has that. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, this tool. It's just a distress mini tool. And I have the um, little sticky guy on the bottom here. String on there I don't need. And get it inked up and we will use a scratch paper i've never used ink in this book so i'm going to find out how that's going to work uh. <laughs> stick some color down so he wraps around and then he wraps around this way He'll get some color up here, a little on his face, on that side, where his scales are, her is some um, fluffy fin, and a little down here. Blue on that side too. I'll be using this around the edges too, but I'll do that a little later. So he's got some nice color going there. I'm going to go in with the yellow next. This is a mustard seed. And then we're going to, in his face, just go straight up his nosy. Some highlighted yellow on his wings, which are kind of his elbows, <laughs> around his fins here and here, down into his tail, and then these fins here. Spiced marmalade, which is the uh, orange family. Go. So we'll go in where the shadow line is. Down there. Get a little in here. dark spot of his face, any little shadows down here, shadow up here, on the bottom of everything. I'm also going to be using the uh, colored pencils after I put this layer down. So 
Let me just touch stuff I haven't colored yet with <laughs> the ink. Little paws, little mouth. I've used this uh, combination a lot. I know that the pink will go with the um, neon, the yellow with the canary yellow, the orangish color will go really nicely with just plain orange or yellow orange. In fact, they both blend really nice. So I've got the orange, and then of course the blue is a peacock blue. One one of the bright blue, so we'll just go with the blue that I've used in her eyes. So we will start slate blue, one zero two four. Whoop! Come back here, pencils. The color neon pink is a two three eight. The orange is just plain old orange, and it's nine one eight. This particular one is just a Prisma color. It's not a Prisma Premier. And this one is my canary yellow, which is the uh, nine one six and it's just basically going over in the pink areas with the pink to brighten them up and kind of blend them into the yellow And any other color that I put it in. Like I said, this is the first picture I've colored in here, so hopefully it turns out okay. I never really have a plan until I start coloring. <laughs>
probably be adding stickles in this too. I don't know why not. <laughs> I'm coloring in the uh, yellow ink. The pencil will show up, but I want to keep the uh, pink and all the little fins here, or whatever you call these, even if it's just a little hint of it. That looks pretty cool. Not as bright up here, but you can still see it. Okay, then we'll go in with the mm, yellowish color, I guess. So we'll give it some help with the highlighting. And we'll go in with the um, orange down at the bottom. I hope you can see all of the... I'm sorry, I'm not really paying much attention. I did not notice you couldn't see up here, sorry. So I'm just doing the same thing as going over all the, the pinks. Might even throw some of this in her hair. Why not? Okay. And I'm going to go in with the um, orange here in the darker spots and just give it a shadow. Belly.
very light touch here. Adding it in, but very lightly. Okay, we're going to go in with some of the green. basically blending these colors and the ink down below together. Remember which colors that I have and which ones I need to still put in. So I have this green and then I have to do a blue. Okay, and then make it kind of yeah, this is lilac, no. No, oh, it's blue, okay. Look more like a lilac color. So just going right over the greens. Almost all of the color here. Very lightly. Little circle. Mm. I don't call them circles long ovals <laughs> striping I have to put a little more dark in here Billy I'm gonna give him bluish eyes too uh, the purple Take some of that purple and put it in some of his
trying to work is a gray tone in here. Any of the lines aren't dark enough. I'm just going to trace over with this one. Okay, so I'm going to add a little of this dark green, and this is Peacock Green 907, and I'm going to go in kind of where the green areas are and bring it out a little bit more. Kind of just darkening. And I'm going to have to go in with a, um, I think it really goes over nicely on that purple. That purple is going to be one of my new favorite colors. <laughs> I'll be going over um, some of the blues in here with the indigo blue. And up on him. And the airplane flying low. Don't know if you can hear that, but I can. <laughs> both got to be the same color so <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the pink and kind of add that in a little bit better this foot was not pink at all Okay, now he's got pink feet. I'm not sure I liked what I did up 
here. Get a little more yellow in it. Okay, now I must find the indigo blue. I put it away because I don't see it. It's my small pen. Hold on. Okay, found it. <laughs> and I'm just going to stick it in. Areas around here. Mm, my kitty is upset now. I wonder what he wants. It doesn't meow much. Stick in that area. Just basically using it as a shadow. I'm going to throw some in your hair too. Basically, any color that I have in the little sea monster I want on her. Okay, on the um, little pin down here, I'm going to add in some raspberry, and that's a 1030, just on the tips. Darken it up a little bit down here. Spot and you have to edit in all of them. At least that's what I tend to do. <laughs> and put some shadowing on his little feet here. Raspberry with all the other colors will turn her brown, probably defeating the purpose of trying to make this light <laughs> rainbowy.
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ink the background. So I'm going to raise the camera up for that so you can see it a little better. Okay. Try not to get you all crooked. Sorry. All right. We're going to do it in the um, blue. Move, Peter, move. And um, make sure. I'm going to go around the edges and I don't want to bleed it through, so I've got to put a piece of paper back here. And then I'm just going to bring in the blue. Around the edges. And around her, too, so... I'll try real lightly to go around. When I do this, I kind of pick a spot where I want to, if I bleed in with the blue, I'd rather have it in her hair. So I'll start there and then go around. This will darken up the color too. So I'm going both around the edges. I'm going to leave kind of a halo of white or lighter blue in the center here. Okay, well, I just work around the edges. When I get up to this page, I just kind of be a little careful. I mean, this is going to be waves over here anyway, so it's also going to be blue. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't matter if I get that side with the ink. But I'm trying not to. Blue in there. Add a little more blue on his tummy and his head. Okay. 
Okay. So far, that's what we've got. I'm gonna add a few more of the Posca dots in there on his eyes. And then I think it's pretty green. I'm going to go in with a gel pen here and I think this one is a sparkle one but I'm not sure. I want to add some sparkles in there. We'll just lay in some and make little green scales in here. So just kind of go around in a little round motion. And then we'll just pat it. And then we'll just keep doing that in all the green areas. Brightens it up and a little on his face up here. I'm going to bring in a sparkle and then I'm also going to do I have gold, silver, and I don't know kind of a white. I'm thinking the gold might look pretty on there in the stickles and just do some dots in here too. If I can get the stickle thingy to work. really need to store these upside down and I didn't do that last time I used it. Okay, so I'm just going to go down the fin here, tail, and then we'll put, no, if you're seeing that, so we'll put it up here, some gold stickles down the, uh, the lines. Do some Posca lines in her hair. Occasionally you have to something works with the the gold and the silver has problems for me. <laughs> Where the glitter stops. Coming out. It's 
going to be one of those days. <laughs> Well, that was too much. Mm, is there anything else to do? Suck some of that one up. Finish this up. Now I probably will add that. Not all of them. I'll do that off camera since that is taking forever. <laughs> and um, when I say I'm going to leave little whisks in her hair, but the white Posca. So here we go, we're going to bring some down from some spots up here, and then any that we have here. So like I got a little dark up here, I don't like that one, going to come down that way, a few from him. And I'll leave a little bit that come down. Then, if you think it's too much, or you don't like what you did, just kind of go over a little bit with a colored pencil. It'll either, I mean, it will color down the Posca pen a little bit, so it's not so bright. And I probably got 
No, I didn't. <laughs> I was lucky. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glitter up his little um, finnies a little bit. I might add a little more color down here. But for now, that's about it. And I'll show you a picture at the end of the video of what the finished product looks like. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a real long video and I didn't talk much, but <laughs> uh, it's been a long couple of weeks. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you like the videos you're seeing, please sub subscribe. Hit the little um, subscribe button, the little bell. If you also like it, you can hit the thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Thanks and have a great day, guys.